Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in. You're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson and today I've got about 10 packs on the table. These are riding packs that I've been using over the last year and I've got the Climb Knack pack here. That's what we're gonna review. Stick around. So this is not a paid review in any way. I purchased all of these packs with the exception of one, and I'll tell you which one it is. Uh, but I purchased this pack recently. These are about a hundred bucks. Uh, but other packs that I've been using recently, this is one of my Manfrotto packs I carry if I've got a lot of camera gear or if I'm doing a full-size drone, I've used that. This is the Climb, this is the Climb Arsenal vest. This is a vest that I didn't pay for that was given to me. Uh, and I've used that. I don't use that a ton, but when I've got really a lot to carry, I do. Uh, here's a Camelback. Uh, um, pack that I have used in the past. Uh, really nice pack, actually. Here's the older Climb Knack pack that I've used a ton. That was a really good pack that I purchased. This is a low pro camera case that I'll carry if I'm carrying, um, if I've got like a certain cameras and stuff that I'll, and a, and a tripod that I'll run with. This is a USWE pack. This is the Lizard 15 or Lizard 16 pack. I really like that. In fact, I've got two of those. Uh, these packs are really nice. Um, Here's another USWE pack that's a bigger one. This is in like an Explorer 26 um, liter pack. And then last but not least, here's a uh, USWE Patriot 15. So I know what I'm talking about because I use packs all the time. I never go on a ride without a pack. And now, as of today, this new updated Climb backpack or the NAC pack is now my favorite pack for off-road riding. I love the way these things fit. I love the way that they anchor onto me here. So it's, it's more of a harness style anchor and I've got this adjusted so that I can wear it with my chest protector and my neck brace. So it's a little bit loose right now and that's to accommodate for the extra room with my chest protector. They do not come with a, with a water bladder for hundred bucks, you have to order that separate, but you can use a water bladder of any type if you want. This is probably one of my USWE water bladders, but I like how everything works up here. And they've, they've even got a sweet pocket here um, up on the strap for your cell phone on either side. So you can you know have your cell phone up here, which is a really, really awesome feature that none of the other packs that I've got have. It's fully adjustable here on the side and fully adjustable here on, on the top. Um, so that if you're a bigger guy or a smaller guy, it's basically one size fits all. Snowmobilers wear, use these a lot too. Um, and they can put their probes in here. They can put their, their uh, shovels and everything down kind of in the side of this thing. But there's a lot of stuff that has been thought out really, really well with this pack. A nice handle. They've got a goggle case up here. So we'll, I'll bring you in a little bit tighter and we can take a look at this. But yeah, as of right now, this is my favorite pack that I'm, that I'm riding with so far. Okay, so I've got this thing outfitted with pretty much everything that I need for a ride. So if we look, we've got an outside pocket down here that we can put a lot of different things in. There's, there's some cool storage uh, solutions in here with some flaps and different pockets where you can keep things organized. You can put a bunch of things right down in, the, in this front pocket. You can put pens, you can put medication, you can put, a, you can put your keys there. So this is a really nice pocket and it's separated out. There's a few different little compartments in here that you can use. Um, and so this is a really great versatile outside pocket. And I also love the zippers and they put really nice um, like YKK zippers on here that are heavy duty. And then these pull tabs, uh, you know, the little drawstrings on them make them really nice. So that's one of my complaints with some of my other packs is the zippers leave something to be desired. This, these zippers are really, really great. And as I've used this pack, sorry, my splint is kind of getting knocked around here. I've, as I've used that pack, I've really, really liked it. You've got fully adjustable uh, straps on the side to kind of suck everything in. It also comes with an integrated uh, tool pouch. This is, not, this is not working so well with my splint. Sorry guys. Got to keep working though. Here's an integrated tool pouch that comes and I, I can put all of the tools that I need to, that I need to have inside this tool kit. So I run my own tools. As you, can, as you can see, I've got everything in here kind of in its own place. A zipper pouch over here that flips over like that. And then just tools, sockets, screwdrivers, end wrenches, uh, screwdrivers, uh, plugs for my tubeless. Um, everything is in there that I need. And so it's cool that climb gives you that. And that just kind of snaps into a, a little compartment here on the outside and then is secured on with these straps. So that's a really cool thing up on the top. This is a goggle case. 
So you can put extra goggles in there or you can do like me, you can put a GPS in there, you can put snacks, extra gloves, uh, cameras. They've even got a little uh, goggle wiper uh, towel thing in here. So if you check that, check that out. So that's uh, removable. You can, you can wipe your goggles off with a little microfiber cloth up there. So that's kind of what that is for. Um, you could put sandwiches in there, which we've done before. Um, so the goggle case can kind of double as a, a number of things. But the reason why I say it's a goggle case is because it's kind of got a little bit of a, a hard shell to it right there. So it'll hold its shape for your, for your goggles and protect those. Then, oh shoot, I got that. I was messed up in there. Then on the top of this, you've got the main compartment, right? So if I unzip the main compartment, this is where you can store all kinds of things down in here. I've got a medical kit. Um, I've got some other parts down in here. I've got some tape. I've got my, my pump uh, for, my, for my tires. And then obviously your water bladder will go right down in here. So just grab a water bladder. The water bladder, it, this, this one's full right now. And this slides right down in there. And then you hook your water bladder on the top on the little thing. This is much easier to do if you don't have a broken pinky like I do or a non non displaced proximal phalanx. So that works just like that. And then you can zip this up obviously. And now you've got your water, you've got your tools, you've got everything in here. And sometimes I'll even be packing drones. A lot of times I'm packing a drone. And so I can have everything I need, put my tools on here. I'll zip this back up. And that's one of the things I like about this pack is it's so versatile and it's so kind of, it's so kind of modular. And I didn't put my, uh, my medical pack back in, but there, there you can see the entire thing is self-contained and ready to go. So I can fit the medical pack down in the, in the bottom of the main compartment. And I can also put my, my Mavic 2 drone up in the top part of this, of this big compartment. And so I have everything I need, my water, my food, you know, I'll put some snacks in here. I've got everything I need and my medical stuff. Uh, I'm all good to go with this pack. And so it makes a fantastic pack. This is the most versatile and most modular and most um, awesome pack that I have. And you've seen that I've got like 10 or 12 packs just here. And those aren't all the packs that I've used. So I'm loving this climb pack. I love, they have it in a few different colors. You can get it in yellow, you can get it in black, and you can get it in this olive color too as well. This is my favorite color, so that's what I got. And yeah, these things are a hundred bucks, uh, plus a water bladder, you gotta buy that separately, which is annoying to some people, but I haven't found a pack that I like better than this climb pack. And I've had a lot of them, a lot of different packs, and I buy them all. So anyway, that's my, review of this pack. I love it. It is now my favorite pack, most versatile pack, and Climb makes some really, really good stuff. I don't have failures with the Climb stuff. It isn't super cheap, but at the end of the day, I haven't found better quality than the Climb gear. And that is my story, and I'm sticking to it. So that's what it looks like when it's fully on with all the stuff in. Of course, I would put uh, my medical kit in as well. Um, and I can loosen this, I can tighten this with my chest protector, how, you know, my neck brace or whatever, but this doesn't rub in any re weird ways. I really love how this rides on my body and on my back. And then I can put my phone in here for quick access. So this is what it looks like when uh, she's all together. If you like these videos, please remember, uh, you can support me with the links down in the description. I have links to Amazon, hopefully for this pack down in the description. Um, you can also support me if you go over to Patreon. And every once in a while we do dirt bike sweepstakes where we will be giving bikes away. I have two bikes that I'm again gonna give away later this year for Christmas. One's gonna be a 2020 uh, KTM 300X CTPI and the other is a 2019 250, uh, 250XC. So anyway, stay tuned for that October 15th through December 15th, we'll be doing that. That's pretty much it. Um, I've got a bunch more riding videos coming. For those of you that are wondering, this is a broken pinky and I'm out four to six weeks um, with no riding, but I probably don't need surgery unless this thing gets displaced and you know, kind of the, bo the bones off of alignment. But as of right now, I just saw a hand uh, specialist today and I'm good with it with this uh, splint on here as long as I'm careful with it. So. That's what's going on in my neck of the woods and I hope you enjoy these videos and we'll see you next time.